I was going to make a joke here that we are going to play Bulgaria in Hearts of Iron 4 and then I boot up one of the Paradox suit and select Bulgaria and go into the game and edit that we are in Hearts of Iron 4 but uh, apparently there is no Bulgaria. You can also just select the proper date. Bulgaria. Right, I'll just give me 10 minutes for this. One small dive into the entire history of Bulgaria later. So I think we're gonna go down to the unification of the Balkans. If I remember this correctly, there's two ways you can go for this. Actually, I guess there's three. We can also just follow Stalin, but I'd rather not. Uh, we can go communist or... Uh, Boring. I don't think I've ever gone down the democratic path here. So I guess we could do that. I mean, we can go democratic here, which I guess is neat. I'd also like to do anything. Actually, I don't think it would really matter if we're being honest. Since, you know, I don't plan on going to war with the allies here. If I can take out Germany and the Soviets, that's fine by me. Let's go democratic. Keep up the cursed aura of this channel. Bulgaria, we have a lot of factories, lots. Capital is in Sofia, so we shall build civilians. And then I still need to figure out what to do with these guys. Honestly, that's the worst part about these three nations. It's just a faction management. And also just that the, the focus trees are quite confusing. Turkey, I think is the easiest if you go down the Ottoman path because there's one decision you have to take when they make a coup and then Greece has like three different decisions but you also have your factions and Bulgaria has these factions so you need to check which factions you ally when and then you can do this and oh it's just so confusing to me <laughs> i want to click a button and then annex czechoslovakia you know i don't want to i want to read that's not why i play hearts of iron 4 that's what i play steins gate and danganronpa for i guess it's worth it to order one steel from i guess the uk for now i don't have convoys great just first we will be getting factories very late into the game we don't have a PP guy. Uh, but we also need a democratic reformer now. Yeah, I, I need to hire the democratic reformer at this point. Even though this PP game just... <laughs> after playing Spain and one Germany game that I will upload after this episode, seeing this number does not invoke confidence. I don't think I will take this cursed member. I will take Markov. We need loyalty higher than 70 and pop higher than 55. So we just need 70 loyalty. 10% step, 10% construction speed, 10% factory output. I do want to get the broad socialist as well, so I'm gonna take that. Ooh, arty specialist, but also an offense guy. I'm gonna take the arty specialist for now. Full voting rights for women. I mean, that's the right thing to do, but... 10 stab and a bit of faction support. I'd rather get the modern tools for now. Sorry, women. Oh, I forgot. Because I'm democratic, I won't be able to go for an extensive conscription. That was kind of stupid, huh? And open all the cages in the sink. Guess we're gonna go partial mode. This way we get, I think, one factory. We just got all of that, so that, I hope that wasn't a mistake. DP 40%. It's gonna take a while to get us there, though. Yeah, I'm gonna get the research slot now. Now we can go for the legislative elections, which will give us exactly 100, which is perfect for me. The broad socialists won't like that. I should have, I should have legalized them first. Oh, an air reformer. That's pretty good. Oh. Sahari Sahariyev. Oh. 15% air superiority and 0.4 air XP. We're not gonna take any dips here, so we will do that and then integrate the agrarian union. This way we can get the joint act thing. Now we need to do a sell no, 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 no agreement, which means improving relations. Oh, no, 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 no. We are going to go for our, oh, that's 4% consumer goods. We're gonna go for this. Yeah, and if we rush down here, we do lose 10% consumer goods, so that's pretty worth it. Now we can integrate this union, and then I guess we're gonna crush the Sweeno as well. Balkan Summit. Okay, what the fuck do I need to do now? Oh, fuck. Oh, my balls. First off, we're gonna skip Albania, and now I'm gonna dump uh, wait, get a little bit of PP going, just so we can boost democracy. Okay, we can do the capital injections more often than once. I guess we can go for this one. I mean, weekly stab, base war support, PP. We do have an elusive gentleman. 
Roosevelt? I don't think we have Roosevelt as an elusive gentleman. We're gonna play like this now. Not like it matters, but that way I can at least see who joins when. Come on. Oh, okay, Romania flipped. That's good. I can't invite you. Once Hugo's flipped, we need to go. Greece also flipped. So there's only two that are left. Uh, how long are we in being influenced? Oh, okay, 1942, that's very nice. World War II kicked off and I'm still just sitting here. Ah, oh, Yugoslav Confederation? Yes, they are democratic now, which means, can I invite you? No, we need more world tension. But I'm a little bit scared for Yugoslavia now. Germany might go at them any minute. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Maybe Turkey flips. If they don't, then that's fine. Public opposes rearmament. No, 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 no. Bro, World War II just kicked off. Germany gobbled up France, Poland, the Benelux. Ataturk is as resistant as ever. Come on, man. Don't make me tag over. No! I greed it. I wanted Turkey. Even if I uh, load this safe, this shouldn't make a difference. So at this point, we still need to flip Hugo and Turkey. Yo, Hugo flipped, which means we have everybody, except for the Balkan problem child. Can you stop forcing my agents into hiding? Just want to overthrow your government. That's not that bad. I mean, the US has done it several times, and they're the good guys. No! Romania refuses. Okay, wait a minute. 50 billion restarts later, this happened. I'm gonna fucking come, man. Let's do all of this then. Improve relations, improve relations, improve relations. And I'm even going to guarantee them. I don't know if that matters, but I will do it anyway because I do have PP that I would like to spend on other things, but I also have sanity. Best joke I ever told, man. Oh, I fucking hate RNG, man. Okay, we have the United Balkan Federation without Turkey. And I don't care right now. We at least have our course and we have everything that we that we start with. We can join the allies. Oh, but I like the 10% consumer goods. Let's get utmost optimization first. And let's start producing a bunch of RT, a bunch of AA. Oh my, we actually do have buildings now. We don't have steel because somebody would have steel, but we don't have somebody. Oh, the Soviets are justifying on us. I mean, that's fine by me, honestly. I wanted to get into the Soviet Union anyway, so we can just do that. Who are you pressuring? <laughs> well, I guess we're still pressuring Romania and Yugoslavia. Strike force in the Black Sea. I might just release Bessarabia to buy us a little bit more time. We can also technically just flip fascist now. Oh my god, that's pretty good. Fight tyranny. 0.15 fascism support negative. Yeah, sure. Get a war goal against Romania, I don't care. No! <laughs> and the game crashed. Let me just see something here. I don't wanna keep this, but just for science, I wanna see. Okay, they would lose the war goal here. That is pretty good, another 200 days. And that's just for Bessarabia, and then I only have to defend here. For content. For content, we're gonna go to war early. I've played Hearts of Iron for two hours now, and we are not, we've, we've, we do it. We're not ready for war yet. Probably should have kept a few divisions just as defense divisions. Oh, even Sweden is helping me. Non-aggression pact. Who do they think they are? That's the cool thing about the fascist influence, which is why we didn't want to ban fascism. Because then we lose the um, fascist influence from Italy. And right now they easily just want to help me, even though that's stupid for them. We can get total mob now, but we first need to fix our manpower problem. Well, the downside is, once the Germans go for Barbarossa, they won't have any manpower anymore. So we will just have to fight off the Axis full power after fighting off the Soviets full power. Come on, you are not non-aligned at this point. How do they deal with the M IMRO? Oh, I probably should have done that earlier, huh? Yeah, I thought this was only for, you know, Svino and such. Trotsky is gone. Oh my god, my army. My army will be gone soon as well. But I think at this point we are pretty much set. Everyone is trained enough. They have enough entrenchment, enough planning, all that. And we have enough buffs. Now this will change as soon as Italy attacks us. But I'm just gonna pretend that Italy does not exist and maybe that's gonna help. And the Germans are going in. Can I join the Axis? I cannot. 
We have a war that- No! We're at war with the same person. You can't be drawn into any war that I'm in. Ah, but I don't really want to attack, honestly. Like, I want to, but these guys are in a perfectly defensible position. Whoa! Impending coup. Total mob. Before we demobilize, we should be able to get women in the workforce going. Yes! There we go. Now I shall make another front line. No, I'm not gonna go for flame tanks today. I just don't think I have the time, honestly. Right, Pickard, you go here. There we go. The rest of you boys can go here. At this point, I realized that Italy still has the war goal against me. It does not expire. That's gonna suck. And not the fun kind. Because we need divisions everywhere. I, I think I'm just gonna say goodbye to Hugo, honestly. I can't afford to defend all of this stuff with my army as it is right now and also attacking the Soviets. Oh, well, defending against the Soviets. I'm gonna try and keep this, I guess. Ooh, Balkan research program with all of the allies. By this point, I don't really need it anymore. It's 1941. But if you join the allies early and maybe go for Greater Bulgaria for whatever reason, I guess that can be cool. Same as with the Turkish focus tree, the Balkan integrity. That's a bit of a more of an RP path because you get buffs for all of the Balkan nations. Which again is very cool, just not very useful in single player. Because what's what's the AI gonna do with 5% consumer goods? Wouldn't mind it if the allies gave me guns. I'm in dire need of them. God, it takes so long to get PP. I will straight up lose PP if I take this decision. But it's, we need to go for it. Oh, that's also where all of the Bulgarian civil wars come from. I was wondering why the AI just isn't able to cope with this. Italy is coming in. Goal right now is to take out Albania and preferably use the protection of the allies. Uh, yeah, okay, now they don't have a single boat here. I still would like to take out Albania first. I was almost gonna do this, but <laughs> that's just gonna shoot ourselves in the foot because we don't want communist support here in this household. Right now this looks like defending it is not worth it. Yeah. Fine, let's just go Go get out of here. Else the Germans will just seem more rough. Oh my god, my heart. Wait, you've not taken Norway yet? You're not gonna get nukes then. Can we free those boys? Pin them. Yes, we got two. We lost two, but at least we managed to free the other ones. Seriously, let's, I'm just gonna bank PP at this point. Fall of Rome. Well, at least I'm pushing here against the Italians. Just gonna make encirclements to get some more casualties going, which will increase our war score. Although we probably won't be able to take a lot from the Axis anyway, just because we joined so late. The Axis are also not that interested in ramming into me, it seems like. Well, that's gonna suck a little bit because that means we will have to go against the Soviets completely on our own. I can invite the allies, but that's kind of cheating, you know. And I never cheat. I've not even cheated in this game. Oh, I never researched bombs. <laughs> Whoops. Zero percent supply fulfillment. Oh my god, Soviets. What are you doing? Wait, why didn't... Oh, Iran. I need convoys because of Iran now. <sighs> well, let's just push a little bit. That uh, sounds about right. That uh, does sound about right. Guess I can dispense those. Gives us a little bit of buffer as well. Because I need to deal with these. But I also need to up my conscription law. I think that's the first time that I got the Fadel in front. And oh my god, is that cringe. Your hungry is gone. Oh my god, I screwed myself over so hard. Why do we have Krakow? This is disgusting. Why? Why did I do this? Why was I like, yeah, okay, let's play Bulgaria of all things. And then let's go to the democratic path of the Balkan Union Federation. I at least could have done it in communist, you know? The path that's actually fun. Oh, well, useful. Now, if we take Bratislava, that's probably it for Slovakia. Yep, they're also gone. And then we might be able to encircle these divisions. Oh, definitely. They're all mine. No way is it gone. Okay, we can just take everything here. I guess they got cocky from taking Norway. Whoa, 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 whoa. 1.5 million to the Germans? This is my 400k? The Soviets did more damage to me. I also didn't micro heavily against the Soviets, but it didn't feel like I've been fighting that many Germans. It's, you know, mostly just been Italy hungry. Sure, let's make another frontal push. What are the Soviets doing? Well, if I can get a bunch of stuff from the Germans. 30% war score, that's actually pretty good. Granted, uh, my manpower will become a problem. And because I am at war with the Soviets as well, I am a little bit scared. Once the peace deal kicks in and they get half of Poland again, then a bunch of my army is encircled. 
Okay, I'm I'm the weakest one here. And now, uh, oh, that's a fun front line at this point. Boys, get out, get out, get out. Interestingly enough, I technically encircled the all of Czechoslovakia now. So yay for me. Just need to be quick now. We can probably take out some of these nations. They don't have any divisions, so... Well, I guess the Soviets got encircled. I won't mind that at all. Oh, there's the one Hungarian division that they have. Good luck defending Hungary. The Balkan occupation zone. And they can improve national spirit. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I guess you do have triumphant will in a way. In a very weird way. I have no idea why some of them are attacking, man. They don't have an attack order. Uh, I don't have an attack order here active, but I do have an order the Greece offensive against Poland, which I assume they are still linked to. Now we're attacking from multiple sides. If we can attack. Yes, you're finally encircled. Right, uh, now this game starts where the Soviets just grind up against me. I feel like I've been here before. I don't mean in general, like today. Something like an hour ago. Oh, but those Soviet troops, they are not looking healthy. They're looking healthy, but those up here, not too fresh. We might be able to get banning communism now. Yes. Can anybody in the comments tell me what the Fatherland Front was? I assume it's just some generic communist faction that also liked the Comintern or the Soviets. But did they really have that huge of an influence that my entire country is destabilized because of them? That seems a bit much, even for paradox standards. Maybe I'm just doing this wrong and I should have gone for a focus that's just kill the Fatherland Front. Or maybe I should have banned communism much earlier. There we go, let's kill those, kill the Fatherland Front. Can I get manpower from you? Cool. 700! Okay, I'll gladly take that. <gasps> I finally have Cass! Oh my god, what am I gonna do with this Cass now? Steal some damage. I mean, it's not a whole lot of Cass. Yo, for 100 Cass per army, that's, that's decent numbers. If I was playing strategically, I would just cap Estonia quickly, uh, Jesus, Latvia quickly, and then a bunch of these troops would capitulate and we'd get their equipment and such and we wouldn't lose manpower. But right now, I want to see these guys suffer. I love how original those flag designs are. Well, I guess we pushed into here. It's gonna make some small pushes since I only have two divisions, divisions here. I need to play, play very strategically. It's perfect. Just encircle one division at a time. <laughs> Why does France have Milaxis here? And the UK as well. <laughs> I feel like the Soviets should have something against that, you know? I feel like the Soviets should have a problem with that. Oh, we have stability again. Now just clean this pocket up. Oh, I love this front line. Thank you, AI. That's exactly what I wanted. They're just spitting troops into this pocket. Oh my god, no. No. Don't you dare. Can you go from here to here? No. Okay, cool. So, they need to keep this. That is not what I... Oh, man. Fine. I just wanted the guns from Italy. Usually I would reload, but... I don't like this focus tree. I don't like the Battle for Bosphorus DLC. And I don't like myself that I was like, yeah, okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Let's, let's, let's try the democratic path. Maybe it's gonna be fun. Wait, I can call Romania in? What part of Romania? <laughs> I own all of Romania myself. Still need guns and oh, bunch of support and then we don't have manpower anymore. 2.1 million manpower from Italy. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't think Steinoskov is gonna help you. <gasps> Kirov, take Kirov. Just take it, man. Uh, that's... I don't have player at peace conference. What? I, I guess I just had like... 80% war score or 90% and that's why I got everything. I was about to puppet the Soviets, but then I remembered I am democratic, so I need to annex them. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, the most cursed nation, Balkania.